What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It was an amazing NFL weekend, man. We took it down again. Uh, Greenlightdfs.com if you want to sign up for any of that. Let's go ahead and get straight into NBA, man. Drop a like down below. Comment anything in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for your chance to win the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. I will announce the winner. I will type the winner's name down in the comment section below. So just scroll right below to see the winner and see if your name is down there. And uh, good luck. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. As always, I'm going to get straight to the point. Straight out of here, let you guys go ahead and get that juice and then roll out. All right, greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's start this week off right. Now, starting off at point guard, I'm going Jeff Teague against Cleveland. Cleveland has been horrible versus point guards. Now, Colin Sexton is decent, but they're just still not very good. And Cleveland's actually been playing fairly well lately and keeping games close. That's what makes me excited about this. I love the fact that Jeff Teague is going against a Cleveland team that not only defensively do they suck, they're giving up over 30, they're giving about 34 fantasy points a game to point guard starters, okay, and six assists, okay, but uh, not only that, but Cleveland has actually been keeping games tight, so I love Jeff Teague at 6-1, lock him in. At shooting guard, I'm going with my boy DeMar DeRozan at 8-6 going against Chicago. Chicago has always struggled versus guards. They're giving up 30 fantasy points a game to shooting guard starters. I absolutely love it. DeMar DeRozan, this is an up-paced matchup for San Antonio. And DeMar DeRozan excels in faster-paced matchups. So DeMar DeRozan at 8-6. Price seems a little too eh for a game that should stay close and too good of a matchup for a guy like DeMar DeRozan. All right? At center... I'm going to go Clint Capella at 7-9. I love my boy Clint. He's been super, super consistent lately, and he's been killing it. Okay? On top of that, the Wizards allow opponents to shoot the 10th highest field goal percentage from two and to grab the fifth most rebounds per game. That's the main thing right there. The Wizards allow the fifth most rebounds per game. Okay, I don't know if y'all have seen all this drama going on with Dwight Howard. I don't know what happens with that. Even if he comes back, he might not play right. Uh, Dwight Howard is going through a lot right now. So uh, Clint Capella is going to dominate here, and I don't think Dwight Howard's going to play. If he does, I still love Clint Capella in this matchup. All right, now, small forward. I'm going to roll with my boy... Robert Covington. Now, what I love about Robert Covington is he's just a hustler, man. You know what I'm saying? He is a hustler. I love him and Teague together in this game against Cleveland. The matchups are great for both of them. Absolutely love it, man. And this dude's just super, super consistent. At 5'9", we need about 30 30 to 35, which is asking for a bit much. But this is the type of game where Robert Covington can shine in this type of matchup right here. Okay, Robert Covington's an amazing three-point shooter. He's a great defender. And these Cleveland guys, they're just not very good. He should be able to get some turnovers. He should be able to get easily get some rebounds, some assists, some points. He's going to stack the stack sheet tonight. And at 5'9", I like Robert Covington for his safety. All right, last but not least, I'm going to go with a value play. I'm going to go David Nawaba. Now, this isn't a dude that I absolutely love. But he's playing, he's starting for Cleveland going against Minnesota where it's an amazing matchup, okay? Amazing matchup. Minnesota is giving up a ton of points, okay, to power forward starters, which is where Nawaba is starting, which is weird. But they've been giving up a lot of points, okay? So David Nawaba, the type of minutes he's been playing, he played 30 and 38 minutes the last two games. That's ridiculous. If he plays over, if he plays another... 30 to 35 minute game that's easy value at 3-7 i love david nawaba at 3-7 great money saver and that's it guys jeff teague demar Derozan, robert covington you could also go miritich there too if you want to spend the extra thousand miritich is fine um i, I uh i like evan fournier a lot too at 5-3 all right evan fournier against golden state love evan fournier as well okay uh 
at the center position. I like Vucevic as another spend up. Um, I like Al Horford against New Orleans. Uh, a guy that really intrigues me is Brooke Lopez. I think he's going to fly way under the radar. He's not super consistent, but he has some huge games. I'm feeling in my gut that this is going to be one of the huge games. So keep an eye on Brooke Lopez. Throw him in some GPPs or something. At that price, 4-7, he might damn near 9 exit tonight. I'm, I'm really feeling like he's going to have a great game here, especially with Charlotte struggling to cover the perimeter, and Brooke Lopez loves to sneak out there to the perimeter and pop threes. All right, so I think Lopez is going to have a solid, solid game at 4-7. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Go to greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL, and I'm out.